Well, hello. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. Anyway. Um, the, the ingredients are really not what the issue is. Um, we used to always make our own food back in, back when I was young, when I was a kid and, and a young man, there were no prepared foods that, that were particularly good for fish. So we always made our own food. And, and at that time, we were not feeding a lot of uh, food like um, worms and brine shrimp because they were not available. Uh, we could raise whatever we could get to raise. Microworm, we had microworm. Uh, brine shrimp, we did not have. Oh, no, wait, we did. We did have brine shrimp. We had brine shrimp back in the 50s, but we did not have adult brine shrimp. It was just the babies. Uh, and it, it was problematic trying to raise a, a large quantity of them so, or, or, or hatch out a lot of them. So most people didn't fool with it much except to feed baby fish. We didn't, did not have a lot of little tiny fish either. The little, the little tiny stuff had really not made it into the hobby yet. Um, so the foods that we made were largely fish food with filler. They were a uh, fish rather, were largely fish with filler. And the filler was always the problem um, because it tended to it tended to muck up the tank. It tended not to get eaten very well. So Hans was one of those who stopped using filler uh, and started uh, just using various kinds of uh, of live foods, grinding them up, mixing them up, and then uh, freezing them. In, in flat packs or curiously, I think he still does his in, in balls. I don't get that, but nevertheless, I always did mine on uh, sheets of, um, of um, cut right paper, wax paper. I'd, I'd, I'd press, put a, put a sandwich it, sandwich it between sheets of, two sheets of wax paper, press it down and freeze it, and then be able to break pieces off to, uh, to feed the fish. Um, what did I use? I used whatever I could find, whatever I had. Usually, uh, it, was, it was critters that I caught in, uh, in, during the summer uh, late spring and and uh, late and early fall down on the Chesapeake Bay, which included um, crab, shrimp, little shrimp, not the big shrimp, the little shrimp, uh, small fish, occasionally fish heads and fish tails if I could, if I could get it and keep it long enough to use it. I occasionally would would collect the offal from uh, uh, fish cleaning when we went out and caught a lot of fish and cleaned them all out. But that was so disgusting, I didn't do that very often. <laughs> um, what else did I use? It's hard to remember. It was nothing in particular, really. It was whatever I had available, uh, earthworms. I remember chopping up earthworms and mixing it in a, into a paste with some other stuff. Uh, occasionally, I guess we used <coughs> um, uh, some green growing things. I'm just trying to remember what, lettuce, I guess. 
kind of never if there was anything wild that we collected plant wise that we used. Certainly not grass, although that wouldn't have been a bad thing, probably. Not leaves. Um, just basically whatever organics we had. It wasn't particularly scientific. Uh, although usually what would happen is the the uh, uh, the fish keeper would develop his own formula and then be able to prepare for that to gather the ingredients on a routine basis and and mix it up perhaps once every three months or six months typically once every three months or so and then freeze it. Well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice to have you with us. Come on back.